Well, I'm delighted to say that we're joined now by Susan Danger, CEO of the American Chamber of Commerce to the EU. Fabulous to meet you. Thank you for coming in and talking to me. Here at ITM Productions, we're obviously delighted to be partnering with you. But what are you as an organisation hoping to achieve out of this new relationship? Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be here. No, the American Chamber of Commerce to the EU, otherwise known as AmCham EU, represents over 160 companies with deep commitments and investment in the EU. Most of our companies have been here for over 50 years, many over 100 years, which shows that commitment. And the reason they're here is the single market. The reason they're in the EU is because of the market there is here, of 500 million consumers, but also for the ease of doing business. And why are we working with ITM Productions? Because we feel that's an excellent way of starting to tell the story. The story needs to be told much more clearly, uh, much more creatively about what the benefits of the single market are to business, but not only to business, but to the consumer. And also, not just to big business, but to small business as well. So that's what we're looking for. Okay, we've got a lot to do. So the title of the programme is The Future of the Single Market. Why is that single market so important? The single market was set up originally as a, a free trade area. Um, it wanted to break down the barriers. It was also set up originally to ensure peace and stability in Europe, and I think we've taken that for granted as well. Um, and we've taken for granted a lot of the benefits of the single market. For example, cross-border trade of goods, uh, free flow of data, which is not happening yet, which is one of the stories we'd like to tell. Um, the ability to transfer personnel, skilled employees around Europe, that's absolutely essential for our companies. So there are a lot of benefits. Um, also, let's think of the consumer, prices. If you can trade goods across borders with l no duties, no tariffs, if regulations are harmonized, imagine the impact on the price. So the consumer benefits all around. So um, the future of the single market could get even better. It's still not quite complete. Um, our mission as an organisation is to complete the single market, but also at this quite challenging time, also to ensure that the single market doesn't actually disintegrate. Mm. Challenging time, it's a very turbulent time, isn't it? It's difficult to predict the future, but if we think of what is actually going on at the moment and the impact of Brexit, what might that do to the single market? Yeah, that we are indeed, you're absolutely correct, this is a challenging time. We're seeing the rise of populism, uh, not only in Europe, um, not only in the UK, but all around the world. Protectionism, protectionism is on the rise. Also quite a strong anti-trade feeling, which is obviously of deep concern to an organisation such as ours. So these are actually indeed deep threats to the single market. Um, business would definitely suffer if the single market disintegrated and, and if, if this continues to go on. So we want to, we really need a sort of educational campaign here. We need to get out and remind people uh, why trade is good, how it can benefit everyone up and down the supply chain. Um, we need to remind people about access to medicines, for example, you know, transferring medicines across border. Uh, it could be about why the free flow of data is important. Every company, big and small, needs free flow of data. All these examples and stories need to be told more widely, but it is, it is a challenging time. Um, and we're watching this very closely, but we re we're remaining positive. Mm. So there are a lot of challenges, as you've just identified, to the single market. But what would you like to see done to preserve the single market and indeed to strengthen it? What we'd like to see is the completion of certain sort of key areas. We would like to see the four freedoms implemented fully. The four freedoms, you have freedom of movement of goods, freedom of services, freedom of movement of labour and also freedom of capital. Without those four freedoms, then the single market will not be fully completed and will not really function fully. So that's, that is what we would like to see. So, Susan, what does the year ahead look like for AmCham EU? Well, we have a challenging year ahead, of, as we've already said. There are challenges out there, such as the rise of populism, the perception of business in general, the perception of big business, the perception of trade. So, to really work on that, our year ahead looks like working on the single market, selling the benefits of the single market, getting those messages out there again much more strongly, and also painting a more positive picture about what 
benefits trade can bring to everyone, not just to business, but to the consumer, to people, to, to everyone. That's, that's really a story that needs to be told. And I really think in conclusion what we need to do is rebuild trust and confidence. That is lacking at the moment. There's a very negative picture being paint, painted. Um, trust and confidence is what's needed. We're committed to working on that and we're very much looking forward to working with ITM Productions on telling that story. We look forward to joining you on that journey. Thank you very much indeed. Susan Thank Danger. you.